Uh, this is Professor Russell Wilson. Uh, this is uh, as for the maximum height, uh, maximum horizontal distance actually of this projectile uh, with this function negative x, uh, x squared plus 2x plus 2. Notice the negative x squared means that the parabolic arc is going downwards. Uh, it also means at x equals 0, which is the starting point, the height is already 2. So the question is how far did it go before it landed? And we have about 2.73 meters or whatever it happens to be, it landed. Uh, we had to get this with the quadratic formula because uh, this uh, fact function will not uh, factor. So like I said, at the initial starting place is a 0, 2 to, to find the, uh, uh, the, the, the horizontal distance. We're going to use x, which is the horizontal distance, by the way, equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. The, quadratic formula, your A, if you will, is negative 1, your B is positive 2, and your C is positive 2. That's where it came from. B is positive 2, C is positive 2. So it sets up as negative 2 plus my square root of uh, 2 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 2, which ends up being really 4 uh, plus 8, which is 12. So negative 2 plus or minus the radical 12 uh, over negative 2. Radical 12, since 4 times 3 is 12, uh, radical 12 is uh, 2 radical 3. So negative 2 plus or minus the square root uh, plus or minus 2 square root of 3 over negative 2. And you punch that into the calculator, you indeed get uh, 2.73 meters for the, for the horizontal distance. If we did the plus, I think it would have been a, like a negative number, and that would not have worked because there's no such thing as negative uh, distance in this case here. So it's safe to assume that in this case here, your horizontal distance, the answer is 2.73 units, uh, feet, uh, inches, meters, whatever they chose uh, to find that horizontal distance.